Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Drop Clutch Garage. Today we're working on the 65 Coupe. Um, we're gonna finish up the front end here. We got uh, both front fender aprons and the radiator core support. Um, what we got here is a premium piece. Um, it already has the fender bracket on it. Holes drilled and reinforced for uh, the battery tray. Uh, actually a really nice piece, only about 50 bucks. I think I got it on uh, National Park Steepo. Uh, very happy with it. Uh, the other side, however, isn't as nice. Um, it was all that was available, um, but we'll make it work, we'll make it fit. And let's get started. <laughs> As you can see, I have everything mocked up here, both front aprons and the core support. Uh, there's a few areas we need to take a look at and address um, proper fitment, uh, and I'll take you through and take a look at those. Um, once we have those kind of massaged out, I'll go ahead and take everything apart, um, grind down this coating so I can uh, prep it for weld, uh, and we'll get it welded in place. Uh, let me show you some of the areas uh, right now. All right, guys, we're looking at the right front fender apron. As you can see here, uh, the core support has this radius built into it uh, that travels all the way across the front right side. And our front apron does not have that to match. It is straight. So I'm gonna have to probably cut here and here and try to massage um, the front apron to match the core support. I think that's a little better option than trying to pound this out flat. Besides that, the front right apron fits very well. All right, we're gonna move on here to the left front apron, uh, driver side here. Um, got a main issue down here. You can see this kind of runs straight and the panel isn't laying flush on the shock tower because this corner comes straight out. So we'll just have to Kind of grind a little curve in that to match the shock tower. Um, coming up up top, everything fits fairly well. Holes line up on both sides. Uh, measurements are pretty good here at 44 and a quarter from the front of the core to the cowl. That's what I was measuring off of factory. Uh, from this point, I'll go ahead and make those adjustments to fitment and then we'll get everything ground down and prepped for welding. All right, guys, as you can see, I have most of my plug welds complete on both of the front aprons. Uh, what I like to do is use these self-tapping screws right here with a combination of vice grips. Um, I like the self-tappers because it draws the sheet metal close into wherever you need it. Um, and they're also uh, easily used for spots where your vice grips can't fit. Um, so you can see along the perimeter, I went ahead and used some self-tappers to secure that panel in place. Uh, so when I go ahead and weld it, it is already sitting flush. It makes the job a lot easier. Um, you can see here, I still have some more plug welds to do here on the course supports. All right, guys, as I'm getting this front end assembled, I wanted to take a minute to show you one of these tools I've been using. Um, it is a pneumatic hole punch. If you're gonna be doing a lot of body work, sheet metal work on your car at home, I highly recommend it. It will save you a lot of time. Um, you won't have to drill every single hole for any of your plug welds. Um, it simply just pops a hole, just like that, and you're good to go, uh, ready to plug weld. I think I got this one on Amazon. It was around $50, $60. I'll go ahead and leave that in the description, uh, a little link for you if you wanna check out this one specifically. Um, it's, it saved me a lot of time and I highly recommend it. Um, show you real quick how to get this work, how, to, how it works um, here on this fender bracket. That's it. And you got a hole perfectly ready to uh, plug weld.
Alrighty guys, that is a wrap on today's video. I finished installing the core support, both front fender aprons, everything's fully welded in, ready to go. The only thing I have left to do is to grind down those welds smooth, get it ready for paint. And besides that guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, go ahead and hit that like button. If you wanna see more content just like this, go ahead and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.